My name is Emma Boyle and I'll be chairing this morning's discussions. I work for a company called Cloud Moves TV. The, the, the intuition that we have you know, could be utilised in a way to uh, solve big problems. There are only 9% of women actually in engineering roles. Although working mothers, I think, are the best leaders. What are the greatest challenges that you feel that you've come up against, you know, during your summit to the top? And I remember the guy being like, oh, you memorized a bunch of big words, didn't you? When you're the only woman in a room full of engineers, it's very easy for them to assume that you're going to be the note taker. In FinTech, it's a combination of finance and technology, which is very much all about collaboration. That there is another way to think, and never more have I seen it more apparent, the, the purpose for both men and women than in the cyber work I do. Well, I think that women have broader aspects how we work with things. We need to work across our boundaries, and I think women naturally can do that very well. Women really have that ability to kind of turn it into bring it back human again. This absolutely blew my mind. Twelve trillion dollars could be added to global GDP by 2025 by advancing women's equality. I get that all the time. There's no way you can actually be a hacker. I believe that it's much more about integrating towards the ma male network. Otherwise, it's we and them. Yeah, take the myth that code is just for men and it's also difficult. It is not. Really sponsor women. Don't mentor them unless you change the intake into engineering or technology jobs. I think you're going to have a very hard time getting more women to the top. Going forward, everything in our lives will be touching technology. So it's like almost a language we need to speak as, as women. That there's never been a better time to be a woman headed to be a CEO than today.